You've asked for it? I did it. Thanks for your feedback. Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'd like to show you how to remove the OnePlus One's battery or to remove the style swap cover. First of all, we need the OnePlus One. Then we need the SIM card removal tool. Just use the one that already comes with the OnePlus One, otherwise use a needle. Something thin would also be fine if you don't have anything else. Two pins and a screwdriver, the same one is used for the MacBook Pro. Um, to remove the RAM or the hard drive. I'll post the exact name later. Now we have the OnePlus One with Cyanogen text on the back. This means that we have the global version and not the Chinese version. First of all, we have to remove the SIM card or the SIM card tray respectively. In order to do so, we need a small tool. Maybe you should turn your device off before starting. We can see that it's still working and hopefully it's working fine after this video. If we did everything properly. Yeah. So now we move the SIM card tray. Here we go. Now we pull between the display. Display and the style swap cover. Not the SIM card tray, but above it. That means between display and the back. Now you should hear a clicking sound. That's how we remove the back cover. You should start with the SIM card tray and then move along all the corners, maybe with a credit card or your finger. Doing this at the bottom where the micro USB port is, is not recommended. So start at the SIM card tray in order to remove the back panel or the clips that hold it. If we succeeded, which can take some time, we can see the battery. However, it's not removable. This means that it is directly connected to the motherboard. And it can only be removed by opening the back panel of the motherboard. This means you will lose your warranty. As I've told you, we can see this neat red battery. Very big, not so heavy, lasts for a day or more, at least for me. The process of removing it means no warranty from OnePlus. If you only want to remove the style swap cover, you can stop watching now and clip the cover back in. Now we want to move on. We can see all nine screws here. One, two and three are open. Four, five and six are covered. And seven has the warranty sticker. Eight and nine are open again. These three are covered so they have a small plug on top of them. And here is a small sticker. If you damage it, you will lose your warranty. Now we open this back panel. This could take a while. Be very careful and don't make any scratches, etc. If you could remove the sticker without damaging it, you would still have warranty. However, this is extremely difficult to remove the small plugs so use a needle. And now remove them. Sometimes this can be very tricky, but it isn't hard either. Moreover, it's not really possible to damage the plugs, so they are very sturdy and even elastic. Now we can see the screw again. Do this for all three screws. You should remember the position of the plugs since you have to put them back on the right screws because afterwards it should look like it was before, right? Of course it shouldn't be assembled incorrectly. I've removed a sticker before with success, but I'm afraid this time I will damage it. Yep, the sticker has been damaged, my warranty is gone, but what can I do? It's not a problem for me. If I had a China version, I wouldn't have any warranty. I had warranty, but now it's gone. Never mind, now let's remove the last screws. And we can finally remove the back panel of the motherboard. Sometimes it can be Difficult to remove it even without screws, but make sure that all screws are gone, otherwise you might damage the back panel of the motherboard, which wouldn't be a good idea. After trying to open it for a couple of minutes, we can finally remove it. We can see it worked. Now we've opened it. We can see the motherboard alongside with the camera and everything else. We can uh, see several connectors at the top. Here's the back panel again. Um, like I've said, there are different connectors. The one for the battery. The one we need is, give me a sec, uh, is here, this one here. That means if you remove it, you unplug the battery. Don't remove anything else, as the, these are for other components. However, I'm not quite sure which one is for which. This time we need the needle. Using only one of them should be fine. You could also try it with a second one in order to detach it from both sides. Pull gently. 
Alright, now we've successfully removed the connector. If you have the OnePlus One's battery problem so it won't boot anymore because the battery is too low and it won't charge anymore, you can stop watching this video, connect the battery again without removing the battery completely. Then try to charge it again. This should fix the battery problem. This was the main reason I've opened the device before, since it wouldn't charge anymore as the battery was at 0% and didn't want to boot anymore. It didn't even show the low battery message. And so I had to reconnect the battery to make it charge again. So, this was the battery connector. And now let me show you how to remove the battery completely. They've used glue, so be careful. You can hear a low sound coming from the deglutinating battery. Be very, very careful, it'll take some time. If your battery breaks, you have a serious problem. There is no replacement, and the battery acid is definitely not harmless. Do it very slowly, with low force. Pull it up, but never break it. Never ever. Be very patient here. And of course, as always, keep calm. The battery will slowly deglutinate. Here we go. And now I'm holding the battery in my hand. We can see the glue here. On the battery we see some information. Like when it was produced, the number, the capacity, the voltage and BLP571. Which is uh, theoretically uh, the product number. However, you can't buy this battery as yet. At least not that I know, so be cautious. And it's not even easy to remove like you've seen before, but you actually can remove it. And here we have designed by OnePlus. And a warning which I can't read, you'd have to translate it. And here is its connector. Let's zoom in and get it into focus. That's what it looks like. Yep, a nice little thing. The whole battery is covered by a red package. Okay, um, all right, all right. Here we can see the glue again. Put the battery back so that it fits. This should be no problem at all. And now connect the connector to the motherboard, which can be a little difficult. And again, if you only have to disconnect the battery to fix the battery problem, don't remove it completely, only the connector. This part is intended for replacing the battery, as I said several times. There is no replacement for the battery, so I'm not quite sure why you want to replace it now. Except when you have a broken device with a broken battery. That's how it should look like afterwards. Now let's put everything back like it was before. This part is very easy, but be aware of what you are doing. It should be done properly. That means put a motherboard panel back and pay attention to the direction. Be sure that you hear the clicking sound so that you won't lose it. And that nothing is in between so that all connectors are connected. So that there is no loose connection, even though this shouldn't happen. And if you put the back panel back to where it was, we put the screws back in and make sure that all screws sit tight. And of course, put the plugs back in too. That means here, here and here. As far as I know, you can't put them in upside down. There should be the sticker. They only work in one direction, so try it out. It should fit easily. For the screws, don't use too much force. It's like the motherboard of a PC. Don't screw them in until it doesn't work anymore, but until they fit. Now we can put the sticker back on top of the screw. Even though it's damaged, it won't hurt. Now we can take the back panel, also known as style swap cover. We make sure that everything is tightened up. And put the cover back on by clipping it in. Just move around the edges. Style swap cover should fit in perfectly again. In order to show you that my device is still working, if everything is clipped in, we put the SIM card back in. Don't forget that. Once it's done, we can press the power button and it's booting. Yay! So, this video is intended for three different things. First, to remove the style swap cover. Second, to fix a problem with the battery if it won't charge anymore because the battery is too low, so it goes into something like a hibernation mode. 
just remove the connector and plug it back in without removing the battery completely. And the third purpose of the third thing is to show you how to remove the battery completely and how to connect it again. The only problem is that there is no replacement battery. This means it's pretty pointless, except for having a spare battery or a broken device with a working battery. And we can see that I can enter the SIM pin. The device is working like it was before. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. If you like it and want to see more, just subscribe to my channel. And as I've told you, just try it, keep calm, be careful, and I hope it could help you out. Don't forget to put the plugs on the right screws. And the warranty is if you damage the sticker completely, gone. And also, don't forget, be careful with the screws. Don't use too much force, take some time, be patient, and of course, never aggressive. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you again. Goodbye, everyone.